Hi everyone, today I will show you how to fix Spotify 403 forbidden problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution consists of three steps. Our first step is to check if our browser is up to date. To do this, we open our browser. Then click on the three dots at the top right. We click on settings. Click about Chrome. After clicking about Chrome, it automatically checks for updates and downloads the update if it needs to. Our second step is to clear Spotify's cookies and data. To do this, we click on privacy and security. Then we click on cookies and other site data. Click on see all site data and permissions. Then we find Spotify among the sites we use. As you can see, there are 20 cookies and 25 megabyte of site data. The reason we delete them is because this site data and cookies can sometimes prevent the site from working correctly. After deleting the site data, we will have to log in to our Spotify account again. Our third step is for those who use VPN. A moderator at Spotify shared on Spotify's own forum that Spotify does not officially support VPNs and that we may have problems when you use Spotify with VPN. There are two things we can do here. The first is to change our location from the VPN program we use. If you're still having problems after doing this, it's a good idea to change your VPN program. To change our VPN, we open the Chrome Web Store. Then we type VPN in the search section. Now you can add any VPN you want to Chrome. After doing this, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our second solution. Our second solution is to change our IP address and DNS server. To do this, we go to the search section and type CMD. We run CMD as administrator. Then we write IP config slash release and press enter. Now we type IP config slash renew and press enter to get a new IP address. And finally, we write IP config slash flush DNS to clear the cache files of our DNS server. We are done with CMD. Now we open control panel to change our DNS server. Then click on network and internet. Click on network and sharing center. We click on our network. After doing this, we click on properties. Click on internet protocol version 4 and then click properties. We tick use the following DNS server addresses. Now we set preferred DNS server as 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and alternate DNS server as 8.8.4.4. .4. This DNS server is owned by Google. There are other DNS servers, but I shared this with you because I think this DNS server is good. We changed our IP address and DNS server. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. Before I finish the video, there is an alternative solution that I would like to mention. Changing the browser you are using may solve your problem. You can use Opera or Firefox instead of Chrome. Also, turning your modem off completely and waiting for a few minutes and then turning it back on can also solve the problem. We have come to the end of the video. I hope this video fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.